Hello there everyone, Rexby here and welcome back to some more Let's Play Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom. We have arrived at the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. Let's get going. The graveyard of ships, somewhere among this haunted mess, a fearsome spectre waits. Oh look, it's a genie. <laughs> Who dares disturb the Flying Dutchman? It's me, SpongeBob, sir. I don't need any cookies. But I'm not a Shell Scout. The Shell Scout? Huh, I guess that's what they call them underwater. Look, kid, I'm too disturbed to scare the bejesus out of you right now. Come back later. What's the matter? It's these darn robots. They've thrown me off my own ship, they have. Being thrown off your own ship is like having your pants pulled down in front of casual acquaintances. It's a sad, sad thing. Aw, oh, he got pants, and he doesn't even wear pants. Now those robots have got their own pirate ship, and they're blasting away at each other. Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? You could pull up his pants, maybe buy him a belt. Well, now that you mention it, get up to my ship and use the cannons to single-handedly defeat the robot ship. Any questions? Is that adorable hat available in a size 3? <laughs> no, but if you do this, a golden spatula be your booty. Now get going. Oh, I'll do anything for a booty. I mean, for a golden spatula. And here we have a brand new enemy. Now these guys will have like a bit of an oil shield um, in front of them and you gotta take that out first and once it's taken out you can actually uh, hit them. Unfortunately they will spit oil at you that will make you like slip all over the place and that can be very annoying. Plus it also damages you. So you want to be careful with those guys because they can be very tricky. Now first of all, I'm just going to activate uh, this right here. There is a power of underwear on there, but meh. It's too risky, honestly. I'm probably just going to die trying to get it. So uh, we'll just deal with having some damage on us for the moment. Okay, let's uh, dodge this chuck here. Because I don't feel like getting hit with a water rocket. I just got hit. And it wasn't really very much fun. Um, now, here we have the Spongebob walls, except... They're not really located properly. Uh, we're gonna have to move them around to basically create the wall properly for us. And that, that this level is gonna have a lot of sponge wall jumping. So if you're not good at them, like I am, yeah, you'll you'll love this level. Uh, yeah, that's sarcasm for those uh, who couldn't tell. But yeah, this is definitely going to be very annoying for anyone who's bad at wall jumping. Because there's going to be a lot of it. A really, really a lot of them. Now, uh, let's take out this chuck over here. Because that's the nice thing about the rockets. You don't even have to get close. And we're going to shoot another rocket over at this latch here. Because uh, that will close off the latch. And actually drop down the goo level. I don't know how that works. You just expect it to not rise any further. But apparently it also magically drains uh, the lake by a lot. So now we can walk back a little bit and uh, go over to this clam here to pay it some money. You need to do that to open this chest. It's very lame, but yeah, these clams are money hungry. And uh, if we do that, we can activate this. And that will open up a cage uh, over here. And we need to quickly rush over with the sponge ball. Now this can be tricky to maneuver. Uh, so if, if you need to take a few tries with this, that that's okay, you know, don't feel bad about it, because it can be tricky. Uh, we messed up already there, but hopefully we should still be able to make it. Yes, we are. Good. But yeah, it, it can be a bit tricky, like if you mess up, feel free to just try and take out the robots that are down here first, uh, before you attempt it again, because that can make it a bit easier, you wouldn't have to worry about them, um, 
attacking you midway or anything. But uh, otherwise, yeah, it, it should be pretty doable. Uh, maybe you need a few tries, but other than that, uh, you you should have had should have had some good SpongeBob practice by now. Even though I agree, you know, the physics of the SpongeBob are not the best. They that doesn't change, you know, they don't suddenly magically get better this level, but it, it's not too tricky in the big picture. Now, for this next section, uh, we, we're going to have to move these in a bit, but before we do that, we actually want to come all the way over to this ship, because then we can jump down here and get yet another spatula. Yep, that's right, we're starting off the level very quick with these two spatulas already in the first few minutes. It's quite nice to actually start uh, with some good progress. Uh, especially after the kind of train wreck that Kelp Force was to a certain extent. Uh, hopefully I'll do a bit better uh, in the Flying Dutchman Scraper. But yeah, there, there's luckily also a trampoline uh, that allows us to bounce back up. Um, but we gotta set these towers a bit better because they're not quite positioned uh, where we would like them to be. Uh, I think we want to move this one over there and then we should be good. I believe so anyway. Okay, yep, there we go. Because now we can actually get on here. And from here we can jump up here and then up there. But uh, before we move on, I'm again, I'm going to take, take out this chunk. I really can recommend just um, taking out enemies with your bubble rocket. Because it, it, like, it might take a bit more time than it would to just, uh, you know, take them out when you get closer to them. Because the bubble rocket does take a bit of time to actually uh, use but I think it's worth it uh, when you consider that it's a lot less dangerous like this except you know uh, this guy's shield does respawn a bit quicker so you need to get a little bit closer than I was getting but there we go now we're all good all set and uh, there's just a bunch of these little ones that are not scary at all remaining so that's really good also, I must say, I really like the music in this level. It just sounds so... I don't know, it, it really just fits the level a lot. I, I'm not even sure how to explain it, but it, it just sounds like it so ghost piratey. That's not really a thing, I guess, but... Uh, okay, let me get back to that point quickly. Anyway, as I was saying, the music just sounds really good in uh, this level. I I'm just a big fan of it. It just really sounds like it fits uh, the area so well. Like, some areas, I, I mean, I guess all areas have pretty good music, all things considered. But this area, it, it just sounds so mysterious. I'm, I'm just a fan of this music in, in general. Even if, you know, maybe it's not just because it fits the area per se, but... It just sounds pretty good. Okay, let's bubble ball that to take it out and hit this switch. Because, again, you know, switches somehow activate the environment. I, I really don't know why you would build a switch that would throw down your mast or something, but I guess I'm not a flying ghost pirate either. So, yeah, what what, what do I know about this stuff, right? Uh, be sure to come over here to open this uh, box, because... Like, you may have noticed, but the transport boxes in this level do seem slightly off the beaten path. So, you're going to have to go out of your way just slightly to uh, make sure you get those properly. Um, oh, I, I actually want that underwear. Because I, I could use it. So, uh, why not get it? Plus, we can just jump here and just skip a bit. Although, I mean, it's literally just one jump. Anyway, let's go to the Graveyard of Ships. Ahoy there, Mr. Squidward! Swab the poop deck! Yes, hilarious. Don't you have a platinum wisp to get? That's golden spatula. Whatever. There's one up there. Huh, he does not seem in a good mood at all. What's up, Squidward? Didn't wanna swap the poop deck? Ah, oh, That's too bad, buddy. That, that's too bad. Okay. Let's uh, blow these up here. And now these platforms will fall down after you step on them. So don't don't wait around for them. Because you, you really just want to start jumping immediately. Because if they lose too much height, 
you're going to be in pretty bad shape. Now we want to switch over to sanity, but you might think, but there's a sponge wall here, right? Well, yeah, there is, but we'll get to that later because in the previous area, there is actually a sock that you need to get with sanity. And in the previous area, there were no bus stops at all. So this is really the uh, bus stop that's closest by to it to get to use it. So uh, let's head back and get that sock. Good, so now now if you look over there, you can see the big old Texas hooks right here next to this other teleport box. So yeah, it's not really that far back, but you do need to go back to the previous area or you can't get them at all. It's a bit silly how they did that, but I guess they uh, reward exploring uh, as different characters like that. Anyway, with that done, we can actually... Uh, just get back to the sponge wall to the bus stop so I'll see you guys over there in just a moment okay back at SpongeBob let's get on top of this wall and hopefully I can do it in one go nope I'm gonna have a lot of trouble with an upcoming section because it's gonna be a lot of SpongeBob walls and you guys know how much I struggle with these that oh come on I was at the top I was at the top I I was at the top come on don't do this to me game don't do this to me game okay there we go now we're actually at the top huh good yeah this is gonna be real tricky up coming up in just a little bit and you you guys will definitely see why but before that let's switch back over to Sandy yep we used SpongeBob for just that those two little seconds pretty much uh, but we need to get across this giant gap and you're gonna have to fly a big parts because these flags are pretty far apart they really do seem further apart and it can be a bit tricky to see this but this is where you need to go it doesn't really stand out all that great and I do think that that could have been better now before you jump over to that platform over there you can actually head inside this little ship here it's really cleverly hidden and i really like that about this game how some of the um socks are just hidden in very nice neat places i, I think they got pretty creative with some of it and th that that really is a good thing about you know collectathons like this game if they have some some items or collectibles just hidden in neat places where people might not look in at like first glance or something but you know it, it isn't too like cheaty out of the way but just like in an interesting hidden uh, way where you know they reward uh, exploring more or less now for this section uh, this wall is gonna get pushed back out uh, so we're gonna wait just a moment so we have the most time possible for this uh, because well you'll see in a moment if I mess up you just get pushed out so you really just want to do this correctly in one go and that can be tricky if you're bad at wall jumps but wall jumps are really really important this level and no damn it I was almost there I was almost there but wall jumps are gonna be very very important this level and I'm really bad at them I'm, I'm just really really bad at them and I take two seconds to focus and I pull it off of course I might have to do that later too now we get a checkpoint here and that's good because well we're gonna have to do some diagonal ones but surprisingly I, I find that these are a little bit easier to pull off I, I don't know what it is but I missed the jump at the end, but still, I, I feel like these are just more responsive or something, or you stick better, I don't really know what it is, but something about them, I, I just find them easier to do than the straight horizontal ones, so may maybe that's just weird about me. And now we get to do the same, except, yep, there's no uh, saving na safety net below us this time, so uh, if you fall off, yep, you're dead. Okay, let's give it another shot. 
hopefully this time we can do it properly as it's supposed to be done. No, we can't. We really can't. <laughs>